Why is no, he he's back. Look, I got, I got to say something. I be quiet, guys. My family back to sleep. And... And my family sleep. And if I get in trouble, done. 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 It's a wrap. And we're going to be reacting. Um, it's basically, it's spooky night today. It's 3 a.m. already, like 3 30, something like that. I'm late. It ain't my fault. This happened to me recently. I was on my way home from the bank when someone suddenly called. When I looked back, I could see a man in his late forties on the road, and he had. Hey, that's Michael Jackson. <laughs> pretty long, shaggy hair that almost reached his shoulders. Besides that, there were so many small scars on his face, which made me feel really uncomfortable. Run. Do not understand the- I asked him if he needed any help, and he asked me for some food because he had a five-year-old girl who was starving. However, it was somehow odd. The way he spoke didn't sound pitiful to me at all. Y'all white girls got problems. Do you understand the word get away from me and run? And he was saying it quickly, as if he had memorized the lines. I stared blankly at him for a minute and then felt anxious. I'm sorry. I have to go now. I no, left no don't pause it. No, don't, don't you dare pause it. it. Do we not understand the word? If you have a weapon or a pin, I'm gonna freaking hit the pin. Okay? Pin. Pin. Get a freaking. I was scared, but I eventually passed my house and ran straight into another alley. Come do I get your knife? Or your gun? Or your pistol? Or your. Or your broke pistol. Nobody know what broke pistol you have. Because it was especially hot that day. My town was pretty quiet. And that only made things scarier. I'm sorry. Think about it. This situation was really creepy. I don't even know where he came from. I didn't hear any footsteps. But when I how big you made the character look. Look at him. How big you made him look. How big you made him look looking six foot two. You can't so, so like six foot five. So you can't hear this. <laughs> Yo, I know y'all you see me push back, bruh. I know y'all. And in my neighborhood, maybe ten years ago. <laughs> there was a doctor in my town. He was married. Okay. But this guy had an affair with a minor he met online. Anyway, he went into the motel with a girl one day, like he apparently usually did. But the girl who was in the bathroom washing up didn't come out of the bathroom. When he... Yeah, I can't you be a dirty mom. My cat came in here. She's annoying. Finally went inside. He found out that the girl accidentally slipped on the wet floor and died because of a concussion. It's a shower. It's called the shower. Can you take? You gotta take off all your clothes, stupid. No, <laughs> no, no. But he couldn't call nine one one because he was embarrassed. He had to keep his social. Call nine one one. You act like she have memories, like she's dead but still could talk to the police. Unbelievable. He dismembered her body and cut her into bite-sized morsels to reduce. 
He murdered him. He murdered him. Her volume. He then began to eat her guts and flesh. What the fuck am I watching? He cleaned up the bathroom and left the motel with the rest of the corpse stuffed inside his suitcase. He knew he had committed a serious crime. Yeah, he, yeah. After he left, two male staff members started a conversation. The chick yesterday was hot, man. It's a good thing the room she stayed in only has hidden cameras. Back into the kitchen quietly. When she heard her mother-in-law snoring in her... First of all... <laughs> oh, what the hell is First of all, get your fast to the gym. Go work out. Go... <laughs> in the first story, you gotta stab the girl. You go... She started eating some of the food in the refrigerator. Suddenly, she felt something was wrong. I'm scared already. Jump scare already. She felt like someone was watching her. I'm 